Uh, good afternoon, Kyle. This is sacred ground, not just because of the thousands of veterans and spouses or children, in some cases, who are buried here. Because what happened, and it's connected to your dad directly, what happened here on this ground in 1863. You see, General Thomas, Thomas's army was right over here. Sherman's army, that's right, Sherman's march to the sea. His army was right over there, down that way. And the guy in charge was up on top of the hill there, a guy named Grant, that Lincoln had just brought into Chattanooga through a hidden secret way because the town was surrounded by Confederates. But they brought this man in from the west to come in here and unscrew this mess and to get out of Chattanooga, go south through the south, and speed the end of the Civil War. And that led to the battles of Chattanooga here on this sacred ground in 1863. What many people don't know was that Mike's regiment, the 16th Infantry Regiment's lineage, is traced back to this fight with General Thomas as they all headed for Missionary Ridge to take that ridge and set conditions to go to Atlanta and then Savannah and end the war, which they did. So the 16th Regiment is waiting for your dad. It was waiting for your dad in Vietnam, 1968, where he fought as a staff sergeant in rank, but as a platoon sergeant, in fact. And of all you army dudes out there, you know that the, the job of platoon sergeant is the most sacred non-commissioned officer job in America's army for certain and perhaps our military. It's at that level where a non-commissioned officer leads the formation called the platoon in combat, which your dad did on a regular basis as a staff sergeant, one rank below what the Army thinks is necessary, but they knew in your dad case that that would be just plain. So we bring Mike home today to his regiment to live here in eternity with his buddies from the 16th and his buddies from Vietnam, some in the 16th and some in other big red one, first infantry division outfits, Big Red One, where are you? I know where you are, Larry. God bless you. <laughs> All right. So it's here that it's right and proper, Kyle, where your dad will spend eternity um, with his fellow Army buddies. From 1863, when 12,000 of them were found dead in and around this area, and were interred here by General Thomas to start this cemetery soon after the breakout from Chattanooga. So this is sacred ground. And believe me, sir, it's even more sacred now that your dad's remains will join the 16th Regiment here on this place in America that we all call home now. I wish you, sir, God's grace when you say that you were not your dad's equal, I would challenge you on that. I know better. And I will say this. If every soldier who goes to combat like this great soldier did performs half as well as he did in the face of the enemy, America will never, ever put itself at risk <coughs> again. The ultimate soldier, the ultimate father, the ultimate businessman, and now the ultimate buddy with his buddies for eternity. May God bless this man and may God bless his memory with the 16th Regiment in Vietnam and in 1863 as those men charged that hill over there. 12,000 of them are here in his cemetery. Thank you very much.